Okay, there was absolutely no panic. Uh, there was absolutely no reason to believe that this is nothing more uh, than a market that is consolidating its recent run. And that's exactly what it is. And more important, technically, uh, we just basically... Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. I'm a little bit under the weather. I was been kind of fighting a cold here kind of all day here. So I'm going to try to make this a little short and sweet. Uh, good consolidation day today uh, for the NASDAQ 100. Uh, again, we've been talking about every single day. The last thing you want to do is start buying uh, very, very aggressive overextended charts. It was, it was pretty much known uh, every single day. Again, as, as we talked about, we want to concentrate on names uh, that are just coming out of channels, names that are trying to confirm either middle or 52-week highs with a lot of volume, and we're trying to stick to those. Again, remember what we talked about. If a stock is up six, seven, eight days in a row. The value is from six days ago. The value is not today. And we saw a lot of names today really get pulled, but not in a way that, oh my God, these are red flags. Is a market reversal going to go lower? It's basically what we started talking about uh, for the last two, three days. Again, be careful of the names that you choose to trade because again, there's a difference between a breakout, right? There's only one breakout on a chart. There's a difference between a breakout and a continuation. A uh, chart breakout happens in the middle of the channel, right? In the middle of the channel, taking out a longer range, two, three, four weeks. Uh, continuation play comes up over here. And again, the further you get away uh, from a daily chart breakout, quote unquote breakout, uh, the the higher probability it can pull in. And that's exactly what happened today to the NASDAQ 100. Uh, again, if you were actively trading the market today, again, there was no fear, okay? There was absolutely no panic. Uh, there was absolutely no reason to believe that this is nothing more uh, than a market that is consolidating its recent run. And that's exactly what it is. And more important, technically, uh, we just basically tested the rising five-day moving average. And again, if you do believe in the theory that the five-day moving average is the shortest term sentiment, then you can see exactly what structurally we did properly today. We tested the five-day moving average and we bounced. So that's very, very bullish. And today was one of those situations that you didn't need to be in a lot of names. Again, uh, we covered, you know, Tesla yesterday, uh, we kind of magnified the chart, um, you know, and that was the trade of the day. Uh, it really was. And, you know, we talked about uh, for the last several days that it's, this range is very, very tight. We talked about last night on the video that it's gotten rejected three times off the same area here, how big uh, this 449 level is. And the more important part was we started talking about the last several days, how much aggressive call buyers we saw, you know, going uh, for the 450, going the 460 calls. So it was very, very important to kind of understand the dynamics uh, of the trade. And today, uh, the market, you know, the market, uh, you know, gapped up a little bit today. But more important, when all other names started pulling today, Tesla got stronger. And not only did it get stronger, you started seeing really aggressive call buyers come in. When I mean call buyers, they weren't going in for $12,000, $15,000, $20,000. They were going in for mid six figure bets on the 460s, the 470s, uh, the 500s. Uh, we saw multi-million dollar bets being laid in the same uh, expiration, in the same chain. And again, once you start seeing that really aggressive call buying coming in, price action follows very, very aggressively. And what happened with Tesla, again, I know a lot of you guys really love Tesla and I know a lot of you guys really hate Tesla, but technical analysis, technical analysis, not only did we reclaim this uh, 449 level, we took out the 462 level. If you, you know, follow me on Twitter, you kind of see, I was tweeting out these levels all day. So we took out this 462 level. This is now the highest close literally in this whole formation. Uh, tomorrow, if we can confirm this whole linear regression line, uh, the next level should be this 472 level, ultimately 490. And once you get into the, these levels here, the 500 area, then again, 
you know, you're talking about blue skies. But again, most important part for tomorrow is, number one, it has to reclaim uh, today's price action. Again, there's always a lot of catalysts. you got earnings coming up next week. So that's kind of, I just wanted to kind of break down what we were talking about on Tesla uh, for today's session. Um, also, you know, it really woke up a lot of the, you know, um, electric vehicle names, right? NIO, it's talking about, you know, talking about a stock that had a big day today. You know, the stock traded 383 million shares today. Just an absolute uh, aggressive move here. Uh, it's spiking after hours. If you saw, I kind of I tweeted this out. Uh, you know, any break above 27. Uh, you know, just because it was the, the high of the day, stock right now is trading in the 2740s. So you had a lot of really big speculation money, a lot of names that had the big really recent run-ups. Uh, they rested. That's all it was. If you look at the big players recently that had their big runs, uh, Amazon rested, kind of mirrored uh, the five-day moving average just with like the Qs. Uh, even Apple that, again, had that big run into the event. And again, when we talked about uh, the event got sold, again, did exactly the same thing, back-tested right to the five-day moving average and health. So structurally, we are fine going into uh, tomorrow's session. Uh, that's the most important part. As long as the Qs do not give up the five-day moving average, and that's going to be a very, very important uh, test tomorrow. If the Qs start losing uh, this whole 289 level tomorrow, then again, we're having a different conversation for tomorrow night's video. But for now, again, you have to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. Once we start coming back into this macro range here, that's when we can have a whole shift in dynamics. Uh, of where the market can go. But for now, again, you have to give the bulls uh, the benefit of the doubt. So again, it's not how many trades you put on, it's how many trades you put on properly. And we, we, we really identified the proper names today and it turned out to be very, very good. Uh, Tesla, again, this was obviously my big trade of the day, uh, 450, 451. The reason why I said 450, 451 and not 449, there was a linear regression line around 450 and a half. So we wanted to make sure supply got taken. Uh, once it started taking out those levels, that opening range, high of 452 again just an absolute explosion uh, in Tesla shares and you can see here uh, you can see here here is the whole first candle here off this 451 just went really really aggressive and put in a high of roughly 466 again really really big move on Tesla uh, excuse me Nvidia Nvidia never got to the 574 uh, ZM never got to the 521 level. I caught Netflix pretty well. They got upgraded today uh, by Goldman Sachs. I think it was a 650 or a $670 price target. Big move here out of that uh, 563 level. So here is Netflix, right? So here is Netflix. Uh, here is the whole 563 level. You can see the first big move went all the way up to 573 uh, before it sold off. Uh, crowd never got to 55. Uh, RKT again got rejected at 24. Uh, you put up like a 50 cent move, nothing, you know, nothing big there. Again, yeah, here's the Goldman Sachs upgrade, the 670 level. Uh, Tesla again, 462 on deck. Again, that was the big number there. Uh, any close over 462, like I said, uh, that goes into 500. Again, the 500 weekly call buyers uh, stepped in as well. And again, you had a really, really good move. So again, it wasn't one of those days that you had a lot of names really exploding, but the names that did confirm uh, did very, very well, and that's the name of the game. So guys, uh, for tomorrow, again, I, I want to give the Bulls the benefit of the doubt. I, again, if you guys look on tonight's watch list, I do have a lot of names that just kind of rested today and yesterday, so we want to make sure uh, that they confirm properly, and I apologize. I want to, I have to cut this off. I want to, I want to kind of relax tonight and uh, just, just, just kind of get 100% for tomorrow's session, but we are bullish for tomorrow. We will be watching for those uh, levels on the queues. If they hold again, maybe we can start getting moves back uh, to the upside. Guys, have a great night. I wish you all the best. Stay healthy, and I'll see you all tomorrow.